Hey up everybody, it's TNG. How the devil are we all doing? In this video, we're going to be using the new haunted house bundle to make ourselves, well, a haunted house. Kind of makes sense. As ever, if you like the video after watching, please convince the like button that his house is haunted when in actual fact it's you banging on his pipes. And if you're feeling extra spooky, please consider subscribing. Anyway, let's jump into it. So to start off, obviously we're going to have to put down some foundations. So we're going to do a three by three square. Start off by putting one here, just like that work our way across then we're going to work our way back back across again and we should be left with something like that beautiful on the side here we're just going to stick down another two foundations then we're going to come around the front and we're going to put down some of the new haunted house porches now i don't know what i'm doing here just titting around as usual but yeah we will get it down eventually there we go another one there another one there and job is a good one. So now we need to start putting the walls down. I'm going to start by putting a doorway in the middle here. Guess we're going to put some windows at the side. Yep, I'm looking at it, so that's what I must be doing. Put some windows up top. Yep. And what I like to do is spend 16 minutes going through the build menu trying to find what materials to use. As you can see, we are mixing it up a little bit. We're putting in some shack walls as well as the haunted house set just to give it that more immersive feel. You'll see what I mean at the end of it. I do it quite a lot. I'm a creature of habit. Going to do the same on the side here. Yep, fantastic. Just deciding what to do here. Yep, my brain does work at some point. And it looks like we're going half wall metal this time. It's simply, simply lovely. And are we going to top it off with all oh, the haunted house set? Absolutely fantastic. I'm so excited. But then I realised I did it wrong because I'm a fucking idiot. So now we're going to put in the correct piece, which is this, and then put a top arch on top of it. And look at that, how majestic is this structure? At the side here, we're going to put down some full haunted house set walls, I do believe. Yep, there we go. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Some half wall haunted house pieces there as well. Brilliant. We're then going to go to the rear of the structure. And we're going to put down a shack wall on this corner here. So let's spend nine years going through the build menu yet again. We will get there eventually. Don't worry. There we go. Absolutely fantastic. On top of this, we're going to put down another haunted house top arch. Again, we're going to spend most of our lives going through the build menu because Bethesda still haven't organized it properly. In here, we're going to put down a full-size haunted house window. In the middle, a solid wall. And on the end, I think we'll put down a shack wall. Just do you know make it a little bit more scruffy fantastic on top here we're going to put down a full-size window full-size window there and then in the middle we're going to put down a half shack wall with a half haunted house port only window 5000 piece on the top of it simply simply lovely jobs are good and look at that you see i know some of you may not have the haunted house set so don't feel like you have to use this just by using the simple technique of mixing and matching materials you should be able to get some form of halloweeny kind of looking house but obviously it is going to look better using the haunted house kit because you know that's kind of what it's intended for but yep We'll just finish off these two walls here now, and that should be the ground floor completed. So then we've got to go upstairs, even though there isn't an upstairs, and finish off up there. So over in our little vestibule area here, we're going to put down some double walls. What you will find though is the haunted house set, you can't double wall the pieces. So the solution to that is change them to a different wall set. Now I'm going to use a contemporary, place down your double walls, and then turn it back into the haunted house set. Really, really simple walk around. I'd like to say I'm not sure why this is still a thing, you know, why Bethesda just haven't given us a wall that you can just wallpaper both sides of. But let's face it, the answer is money. Without us idiots spending money on crap in the Atomic Shop every week, I think this game would have gone bust a very, very long time ago. Now, what I'm trying to do here is to get the wallpaper side facing inwards. As you can see on this one, it works because we're double walled, but here it won't because we're not double walled. So we're just going to go ahead and do that now. And there we go, fantastic. We'll just finish this up here. And for some reason, I'm just taking my time choosing this piece, going through every single one available until we finally settle on the solid pieces. And this is like a little office-y kind of side room thing. I don't know, whatever the hell you want it to be. So now we're going to start placing the roofs, and as much as I love this building set, it is quite annoying that the sloping pieces, the only variant we have as this little 
Dharma window thing on it. Thank you to whoever told me the name of that. I think it was Lucy Jane. You're much more educated than I am. So we're just going to jump around like a fucking buffoon for a couple of minutes trying to place this in. We will get there eventually. There we go. No. Oh, oh, there we are. Fantastic. And all we're doing is just doing a really basic design. It's just a sloping piece with a slopey boy 3000 corner piece. That's the one there. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's just finish it off. Come on now. There it is. Brilliant. And just one in the middle to finish it off. Simply, simply lovely. And that is our roof completed. On top here, we're going to put like a little tower thing. We're going to mix and match the materials. On this side, a shack wall. Then on the other three sides, we're going to use the haunted house half wall pieces. One, two, three. And then on top, we're going to have to use the normal vanilla bog standard, whatever it's called, shiny piece there. Doesn't match him, but we are pretty limited. For our little side room over here, again, we're going to have to use the vanilla pieces because if I was to put down the haunted house set, it would look absolutely ridiculous. So let's just place them in there. And that is the roof complete, guys. So we're going to do some decoration. I'm going to find the defensive junkyard walls somewhere in this midst of shit. Here we go. And we're just going to place these backwards at random points. So let's try and get one down here. And seems we're being indecisive on what to choose because we have many options. No, that's a lie. We have about four. And come on now. Stop messing around and just place it. There we go. Nice and simple. Then we'll go and find some more spots to put them down. Let's put one down here. We might as well. And we're going to use the steel one this time. Ooh, pushing the boat out. I do like it. And are we going to do it? There we go. We took the plunge and it is placed down. Looks like we're going to come around this side and put down some more defensive walls. Now, you don't want to go too mad with them. Just use them in moderation, he says, while plastering them all over the camp and not using them in moderation. There we go. Oh, no, no. The game bugged out. What a surprise. But it's okay. We'll try again. And we've completed it. Fantastic. Now we'll just put one more down here. And we should be able to get the boards of the shack wall to glitch through a little bit. We're just going to put our banisters onto the porch set at the front. I absolutely love these with the leaves all intertwined in them. Really nice touch. Not sure why I put one in the middle. So we'll get rid of that. And we'll put down the new stairs that came with the Haunted House bundle, which are these darker coloured ones here. Let's just snap that in. And I have built this way too close to the road, so if you do build in this location, just push it back a little bit. You know, it makes sense. So I'm just going to throw down some Halloween-esque, you know, items. I've only got a few. You may have more than me. So yeah, knock yourself out. Go as mad as you want. I'm going to put this coffin on the porch because that's where I regularly keep all my coffins. Yep, lovely. We're then going to grab this pumpkin rack. Thank you very much to Reasonable Madness for that. And we're going to put it in front of the window so we can't see shit. Anyway, moving on. We're going to grab this scarecrow. I'm going to hang him from the porch here. Well, make it look like he's hanging from the porch. Mm-hmm. Brilliant. We're going to put down this lantern on the porch here because wood mixes really, really well with fire. It generates heat and it also makes things a lot easier to clean up as well. It's easier to sweep up ash than chuck things in a bin. We're then going to grab ourselves some pumpkins. I've only got one variation because my RNG for some reason is absolutely shocking and I can never get plans when they are supposed to drop. So let's just put two here like that, like a giant set of pumpkins. Grab this last one and we'll put this on top of the coffin. There we go. Simply, simply lovely. And as you can see, it's quite Halloween-y. It could be better, so let's make it better. On here, we're going to put down one of the Mothman Owls when I can find it in my inventory. Let's have a look. There we go. Plonk that down at some point this year. And there we go. And it's starting to look really Halloween-y now because, as we all know, owls that are genetically mutated with moth wings are a staple part of any Halloween endeavour. So, for my build, I'm going to do some kind of haunted house attraction. You know one of those where you get challenged to stay over the night and win £100? That kind of thing. So, I'm just going to put in a simple floor up here. So, yeah, I'll just fast forward this bit. 
And that is our floor in. So let's put down some walls in here. Again, we're just going to double wall. So we'll use a contemporary set for the sake of this. Again, I'll just speed it up a little bit. And there we go. Jobs are good. Em. We can then go ahead and change all these back to the haunted house set. And that is my ground floor layout complete. Jobs are good. Em. So let's go upstairs and take a look at what we can do up here. Because this can be a little bit more complicated. So we're just going to do the same as we did downstairs. And once we've done that, we're going to tackle the top of the walls because there's a couple of options that you've got here. So at the top of the walls, you'll notice we've got a bit of a gap here. Now, there's a couple of things you can do. You can either double wall half walls like that or the top arches. I'll leave a little floaty card at the top now to show you how to do that. Or you can use the option we're going to go for, which is fake roofs. Now, you'll notice you can't put a flat roof underneath a sloping roof. The way around this isn't difficult, but it is a pain in the ass. It's very, very time consuming. So once I've aimlessly stopped spinning this roof piece around for no apparent reason, we're going to remove this one and we're going to jump up to the top here. Yep, we're then going to pull out a flamethrower trap. Plonk that down. At some point, there we go. And we're going to destroy one of these roof pieces. There we go, that's done. So let's jump back inside. And you'll notice you can now, when I find it, put a flat roof piece underneath the destroyed slanted piece. I'm going to go around and do it for all of the other roof pieces and then I'll get back to you in a second. So as you can see, I've done most of the roof pieces now. I have left one corner not repaired and that's because this attic space, you can use it for power. I'm going to put in a little vault tech generator up there. So let's just plonk one down, put down a power conduit on top of it, run the wire to it. There you go, jobs are good in. Now, it's not going to let me place it because of this wire, so we're just going to get rid of that. It's then not going to let me place it because I'm underneath, so we're going to have to jump up at some point. There we go. Put it down. Attach the wire. Repair the roof. Drop that down, and that should give us power for most of the build, if not all of it. You may need to put one on the opposite corner as well. But yeah, jobs are good and nice and simple. So this is the last little bit I'm going to show you before I cut away to some footage of it decorated. As you can see over here in a second, I've made this little crystal ball. That's just a plasma ball merge glitched into a table. Again, I'll leave a float card at the top so you can see how to do the merge glitch. So we're just going to grab it and move it over here like that. Beautiful. Then I'm going to grab ourselves these chairs and place them round. And there we go, we've got ourselves a nice little seance, crystal ball, time telling, whatever the bloody hell it is, ghostly table going down. No haunted house would be complete without some actual hauntings, so I'm going to grab myself the camp module here, place down some candles on top of it, just like that. And you'll find when you move the module away, your candles are floating. Simply, simply fantastic. You can change the height of them candles by putting down a stash box, so let's use the chem box there. Grab the module, put it on top, place down a candle on top of that. For some reason, this took way longer than it should do, so I'll just fast forward this bit. There we go. And as you can see, we have got a different height floating candle. And you can do this with loads of different stash boxes for loads of different heights. The safe works really well. If I can find it, where is it? There it is. And it can be used to make a really, really cool looking effect. Now I'm going to jump over to some footage of the camp decorated. I shall see you at the end.
And that's it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Tried a little bit of a different format whilst recording this one, and I hope it's worked out well. As I said at the beginning, please consider hitting that like button if you like the video, of course. And if you really want to help a guy out, please consider hitting the subscribe button too. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. And if I don't see you before, have a brilliant Halloween.